Hello and welcome back to our KSP career and in today's episode I will be building EVE Sciencer. But first we will be building a small EVE satellite now that we have removed the remote tech I no longer have the long range relay which means each small satellite needs to have a long range antenna and this antenna should be enough to reach uh, from EVE Kerbin. So, right, so this is the base. Uh, it has uh, you know, a probe core, batteries, antennas, and solar panels. That's enough. So now we're gonna be equipping it for various missions because nowadays I am playing with the uh, Kerbalism, so I really want to have dedicated satellites. So this will be Gravioli. This will be the magnetometer one. So each of them will be conducting a very dedicated experiment because then they can store enough and send those data back home. Then this one will be the uh, Gorsat, for use for observation, and all of those will need to be going into their individual orbits. So that's another reason why I'm using this. Then we have the satellite for the, this is the Gorsat. So, and then we shall be having a small, I think, uh, lander. Yeah, so this is the one that will be going hopefully into the um, Eve's, uh, what do you call it? Atmosphere. Yes, apparently. No coffee. Again. So into the Eve's atmosphere, land there and hopefully survive the, all the rigors that it needs to be done. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to be placing this antenna, this Geiger counter, this, go right. A lot more experiments than typically expected. We also need to have a shoot somewhere. I'm going to be placing this one and then I'm going to resize it. There we go previous size this would be good enough I want to make sure that this would be the landing mass okay good uh, that being said we do have a small tank and a small everything here then I want to be introducing a heat shield and actually heat shield should be something like this we don't actually need the heat shield to be covering pretty much everything hold on actually maybe I will need to hmm yeah, well, we can give it a try, and I mean, if it works, it works. It's the best effort right now, because we really don't have all the necessary technologies that we can. So, I'm hoping it will work, at least it will be sending some data back. Let's say I'm not putting all of my eggs in one basket. So, then the second thing, we, I'm going to be taking the Gigan service module, which will be making sure it's an unmanned probe vehicle that will be putting the experiments hold on do we have anything else to put in like nicely hold on i'm just trying to find a nice adapters there we go stack separators and then we're gonna be placing a couple of these and then on top and then on top of that will be our lander so this is the idea six satellites or actually four times three that would be 12 satellites around here however I don't want all of them to be the same this will be first of will be the one that are providing the uh, temperature and pressure then we have the other two which would be uh, having the gravioli and the magnetometer ones and then we have the uh, yeah, now we have the magnetometer. We had the, those, the other ones were the barometer ones, obviously. And then we have the gore set. And I'm putting in uh, multiples because one of them will be going to Eve, one of them will be going to Gilly, hopefully. So they will be taking a lot of observations and hopefully bringing in a lot of signs. Okay, you will be coming this way. There we go. All right. So this is <clears throat> what we will be launching to EVE. Now I'm just trying to auto-strut everything, because even if one of these starts wobbling, they will be all going bananas. So, right. So that's the thing that needs to get to EVE. All right, I need a couple of batteries. Maybe I'll take the smaller batteries. I mean, I don't like the big ones. Okay, well, maybe like this. Yes, I hide them among the other things. Then we have the solar panels. I need to place somewhere the, okay, the engineer. Yes, I need telemetry data. Then I need the 
a communitron, then I need the antenna to actually, you know, there we go, place it like this so it doesn't impact with anything. Then I actually, I'm going to place the engineer on the other side. On the sides, I can actually place the these guys. There we go, beautiful. All right, I think more or less we are good to go. I'm just checking the production of the photovoltaic panels just to make sure that they are, you know, I'm gonna put the high quality just to be on the safe side so they don't go, you know, broken up on me and my craft goes dead. I mean, that would be, you know, typical. I'm sorry, I'm still having, you know, PTSD from the O scrap. So, right. All right, Kerbal alarm clock, everything is ready, transfer windows are ready, so now let's build the stage that will be getting this big bad boy over. So, um, right, where do we have? Mothra aerodynamic, yeah, that one and that one. Oh, the antennas are sticking out. Okay, I need to manually push them in. Right. Now, a uh, few more antennas sticking out, so I think I'll have to, you know, manually stick them in as much as possible because, well, yeah, the magnetometer one is sticking out really badly. Okay, let's see, then we place you. I can actually place you on this side, you on this side. I'm actually using the curvature of the center adapter to actually push on the antennas as in as I can push them, so, yeah. There we go, then you seem okay. I mean, everybody seems okay at the moment. All right, now let's attach the fairing, shall we? Okay, that actually looks like a little bit of clipping, but it looks much better, I can tell you that much. So I'm just sticking it a little bit further in. I'm hoping that it will be okay. All right, that's it. So that would be for the EVE Sciencer. Now we want to be placing, you know, two stabilizers. SAS units. I want this to be very stable. Then I want to be placing an engine and I'm thinking I'm gonna be placing it here Just to make sure that I have everything I need good Check your staging because this is thing that will be getting hopefully to Eve and maybe even you know Decelerating at Eve. I don't plan arrow brakes just yet because I don't have the shielding for it So I'm gonna be a little extra careful here. Yeah that's it. Then I'm be gonna be placing another, hold on, can I place this guy? Okay, now we have a skirt, good. Let me just check thrust to weight, good. Ah, there we go. <coughs> I'm gonna move this one away. All right, so then we have the big, what was it, Gidora, I think. This is actually, now I've looked in a little bit into the, this is I think the Falcon 9 V, I mean the initial version. And then the V1 is actually Bagora. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I was actually pretty bad in terms of understanding which one is which, but at least now I'm thinking I have gotten the hang of it. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Now, these are the newer Falcon 9s, I think. Tundra. Yeah, there we go. Look at them. Compact, sleek, and have more. I mean, the same amount of engines, just a little bit shorter. So, hopefully... I can actually be placing, where is it? These guys, all right. Perfect. There we go. I'm gonna be setting up, you know, fuel lines going in. There we go. I think we need to just correct the staging, then we will be attaching some of the fins. I'm not yet uh, returning the boosters or anything, and I'm not having the grid fins. I'm, like I said, I, I keep putting it off. I'm gonna actually, I want to actually introduce the Tundra Space Center and see if I can actually get it to get them to go back there. But um, yeah, it will be a while. Okay, let's do the test. So it seems to be going okay. Actually, I don't know if this. Yeah, this is a simulation. It says simulation active. You know, guys, sometimes I do the simulation and I just skip over to the launch, and sometimes I just do the simulation because. The reason why I haven't launched these to Duna because it took so long of a time and by the time that these craft were ready they would actually be missing the Duna launch window. So that's why I wanted to test it to make sure that it's working correctly and in this first window I'm launching to Duna what I can and then in the second one I will hopefully launch a much more advanced craft because we will be collecting a boatload of science that will be coming off various different planetary bodies in the Kerbin system. Right. 
all in all, it's a beautiful launch. We will be decoupling, decoupling the boosters right about now-ish. Bye-bye, boosters. And they have been fully expanded. Well, that's a colossal waste of, you know, fuel, grid fins. Oh, well, not grid fins, but... All right. There we go. It goes up beautifully. Look at it. Zoom. All right. <clears throat> we are coming close to the apoapsis of 100 and I'm actually trying to get it almost circular as much as I can while I'm actually doing the burn. Okay, there we go. Look at this. Very nice ascent. Very efficient, I might add. Beautiful. All right. So now we will be, and as you have noticed, I have gotten rid of the remote tech. No more, you know, uh, flight computer. Yeah. Okay, I've just tested the decoupling, and apparently when I wanted to open up the fairing, I have uh, misconfigured a stage. So instead of I stage rather than doing the fairing. Okay, well... Point taken, I'm gonna fix it in the editor later on, but in the meantime, I'm just checking and checking that everything works correctly. All in all, I think it looks good. Let's extend the fins and let's see if the engine works because that's kind of important. All right, that's the final test, there we go. I mean, of course, I'm just curious as to how much it will be left there. I mean, we have not expanded the whole, you know, Falcon 9 first stage, but, or second stage, but, yeah. Ascent stage, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. All right, so as you can tell, these look A-OK -okay to me, and uh, apparently, uh, let's take a couple of glory shots, and I think I'm actually overall happy with the way this craft looks, and how it flies. I don't think I will be performing much more tests than that, except for fixing the staging. So, yes, hmm. this stage and this stage need to be reversed. There you go. That's it. All right, guys. I mean, with that thing being said, I think I'm going to be scheduling that one for construction, but that will be happening in the next episode. So as always, guys, you know what to do. Hit that sub like button if you really like the episode to show the YouTube algorithm that you care. And also press that subscribe if you already haven't done so to be following up on the future content. Thanks and bye.